We are the Professional Ski Instructors of America and the American Association of Snowboard Instructors. Our job is to get you fired up about skiing and snowboarding. It is not just a profession, it is a way of life. These are our stories. Today we're at Deer Valley. Uh, Deer Valley is one of three areas in the Park City area. You have the canyons, uh, Park City Mountain Resort, and Deer Valley. It's a very unique area. It's fun to have all three different resorts here, and, and each one has a unique feel. Coming from Crested Butte, I was kind of excited to come up to Deer Valley. I've never been here. This is my first visit, so it was exciting to see the guest service, check out the mountain, seeing all the different terrain it has to offer, and uh, I've heard a lot about it over the years, so actually being here and skiing here was a good time. Flew in a couple days ago and got right on a shuttle bus, and within 45 minutes I was up in the Deer Valley Park City area ready to ski. It's so easy to be able to ski the same day at flying in. Uh, had a really good time doing it and it's actually you look forward to it once you fly in it's not oh, okay you have to fly in you got to check into the hotel and then you got to wait a day to go skiing I mean within two hours you're in boots and skiing it's a good thing for me it's always nice to get over here uh, Deer Valley is famous for uh, for a variety of things uh, the lunches the service you get here the amenities uh, but also the skiing the grooming the terrain here is great uh, and they take really good care of it so if you're, if you're after that kind of service level Deer Valley's the, the place that, that provides that. When you pull into the to the ski area here at Deer Valley you notice a bunch of of their staff are out and available and ready to help you they're very focused on making sure that you get what you want out of the experience helping you get your skis and get out on the hill excited and ready for the day. What makes Deer Valley so unique is we limit our ticket sales to uh, 7,500, but mainly every employee here has a smile on their face. They're happy to be here. Um, and really Bob Wheaton, our general manager, and Chuck English, our mountain manager, they know every employee's name. They treat everybody the same and everybody feels that they're needed here. Deer Valley caters to a very specific clientele. They are one of very few ski areas that, that don't allow snowboarding, so only skiers can come here. They're very focused on customer service and making sure they provide a quality food experience and all-around experience on the mountains. So they cater to that person who really wants a high-quality experience. We started out right out of the opening season really as a family ski school and we found out that um, taking care of children was going to be huge for us. So we've really tried to develop a culture through our training programs of not only having instructors that are good technicians and understand you know, how to ski and modern ski technique and how to you know, go off trail as well as carve on the trail and all that, but we needed professionals that were good at working with different age groups. The most amazing thing is people when they're here and they've been here for a couple days for the first time, they look around and they can't believe how big our ski area is. We're, we're a little over five miles from one end to the other. We have six mountains. Uh, there's 11 high speed lifts, 21 lifts total. We have a gondola. We have bowls, glades. Uh, we groom a lot of black diamond runs, uh, a lot of double blue runs are groomed. The first thing that blew my mind is it's definitely a different mountain than what I'm used to. I'm used to skiing Crested Butte, which is one mountain, and when I came up, there's multiple ridge lines. Uh, a lot of groomers falling off every ridge line, and I was almost kind of confused how far back it went. Uh, I was excited to go back further and further. And there was just more groomers over every ridge line. It was pretty neat to see. The terrain here is, I've skied all over the world and we have it all here. So we have the grooming, we have the shoots, we have the bowls, we have, a lot of people think it's just groomers here, but I can ski you all day without touching a groomer. As a local here in the area, uh, Deer Valley certainly provides its own little niche. Um, catering to those destination guests that come in. It still tries to, to make good skiing available to the local skiers. Um, those skiers sometimes spread out to the different areas here, but it's a different option for people to come and really get into maybe more of the groomed environment, more of a, an all-around experience focused on the groomed trails they provide.
I think we're just going to continue on our course of trying to provide the guest experience, first class experience, which is easy and hard. You know, we've been ranked number one in North America for four years, but then, you know, there's also people are coming here for that, so we still have to maintain and make sure that, you know, there's no slipping. Deer Valley's pretty unique within Utah. It's also pretty unique within the ski world. If you want to, to live large for a day and, and see what's, what's possible at a, at a resort, this is the place to come. From the lodges with the, the huge wooden beams and leather chairs to the houses that you ski past, uh, there's really a vibe here and a, and a sense of, um, of, of the good life that you can, you can experience whether you're here for a, a stay or just for the day to check it out. So you want to work on speed control. The best way to do that is through turn shape. A common mistake most skiers make is they get a little anxious or impatient and their first reaction is to twist their feet. It makes the turn a little too sharp, creates a Z shape. That's a tough way to control your speed and it tires you out. The trouble most skiers have is they get anxious and they twist their feet too fast. Creating a round C shaped turn requires some patience. It's not just your foot twisting in place, but your foot actually moving through the arc of the turn with your ski. That's what creates the round C-shaped turn that helps slow you down. You can see if you twist your foot too fast, it just stays in place and pivots. That's a right angle turn. That's not a turn in skiing. It's longer, stretched out. Watch as you draw this arc in the snow with your ski boot. That's the way your leg and foot work together to create a round C-shaped turn. We're gonna start with one turn. Watch as the foot moves through one arc in the snow. It starts behind, there's a guiding in the foot and the leg as your boot comes through the entire turn. Watch as the boot moves through the arc of the turn and the body comes over the foot, flattening the ski, preparing for the next turn. As we put our skis back on and move onto the hill, one great task that we can focus on is a patience turn that allows us to slow down our steering movements in a turn. As you watch these patience turns, watch the initiation of the turn. One of our goals is to really think about getting a flat ski so it slows down the shaping and allows our body to become aligned to access steering of our legs. The one thing that I think about when doing these patience turns is having a flat ski to start the turn. The reason why we want to practice this patience turn is it allows us to control our speed through all three phases of the turn. A lot of times when you do a Z-shaped turn, you're controlling all your speed at the finish of the turn, throwing your ski sideways. Doing a Z-shaped turn can become really ineffective and inefficient because it's a bracing movement, throwing you off balance into the inside of the turn. The patience turn can be deceiving at first because it's allowing you to have your skis facing down the hill for a longer period of time. But what you're actually doing is creating a stronger platform to be set up through the finish phase of the turn. Practice this on easy terrain, and as you feel comfortable with these skills, take it into more challenging terrain. Another good exercise for turn shape is follow the leader. Whether you're out with a pro or an instructor or with your friend, look for chances to jump behind somebody, following their path, making that clean round turn. Following somebody's track allows you to focus on the track and not be worried about your movements and simply make the rounded turn that somebody makes in front of you. 
Watch here as the leader is very patient at the top of the turn and creates a smooth round arc for the skiers behind to follow. Once we've had time to practice these exercises and we're getting really comfortable, it's time to amp it up. As you watch in some of these images, we're able to create that rounded turn and patience at the top, even if we increase the pitch, the speed, or the condition. Notice that as we increase the speed or the turn size, we're still able to maintain patience through the top of the turn. As we maintain that patience, we're able to stay aligned and over our feet and steer and guide our legs throughout a rounded turn. Great skiers are able to vary the size of the turn and still maintain a clean, round turn shape. Watch here and notice how we're able to change the turn size, but still maintain a patient entry and round turn. As we amp things up, we can take these same skills and apply them into varied conditions. Bumps, powder, or crud still have these same skills applied. As we enter into the bumps, the conditions are different, the terrain is steeper and bumpier, but we're still patient at the top of the turn and create a rounded turn. So remember, to control your speed, create a solid platform. Be patient at the top of the turn, and then allow yourself to steer and guide the skis throughout the turn. Start out on easier terrain. Once you feel comfortable, amp it up a little bit and take it into some varied conditions. So the next time you're at your local ski area, be safe, have fun, and go with a pro.